Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. In our last episode, we got the Lost, as you can see here. We did get it to Mega Satan, but I didn't end up taking it to Mega Satan. That's fine. Anyways, we get Tainted Azazel this time. A very fun character. I keep thinking my stem is Azazel. By the way, th there's been a few questions of when I'm adding modded characters to the series. I am planning on adding at least Jerb and Mastema, their Tainted varieties and their normal varieties, to this series at some point. Um, I just currently haven't gotten the art ready for it yet, but once I get the art ready for that, they will be coming, so do not worry. Uh, I realise I could just add them without having channel art for them, but I like to keep things consistent here, so I'm going to wait until um, until the channel art is ready for that. I don't know how long it'll be, but um, that is a plan, so do, do not worry, do not fret. Okay, I keep forgetting that they changed how this guy sneezes. Do you know what? This is a pretty good start to a, start to a run here. That is a nice start to a run there. Good, good. And what do we get here as well? Hell yes, I'm taking Stranger Tractor. Hell yes, I am. Who do you... What kind of person do you think I am that I wouldn't take Stranger Tractor on a Brimstone character? That's just fun. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm probably not going to use the Sneeze all too much here. Um, I don't actually think Stranger Tractor is going to be all that bad for us until we uh, get some more like a bigger beam, but I don't even know if that's going to happen, so shouldn't actually end up being that bad. I do not know if the sneeze attracts enemies. If the sneeze attracts enemies, we could have an issue. We could certainly have a little issue if that's the case. But let's not worry about that for now. Let's just play out what we've got. And at the minute, basically all I'm looking for really is a fire rate upgrade. Damage to this character to start is pretty heckin' good, especially if you add the, uh, the Brimstone Care sneeze into equation. It gets really good. But um, the fire rate can be a little bit of an issue. Right, troll bomb there. I'm going to go back and try and look for our shop here. Because I think the shop is actually going to be reasonably valuable for us. Uh, secret room is most likely to, to our right here. But I'll uh, sort of check that before I say it as fact. Yeah, that was a that was a really, really bad bit of, uh, bit of everything there. Just everything about that was kind of terrible. Anyways, let's uh, see what we get from here. God damn, we are getting some decent stuff. I'm going to try for the quarter. Didn't get the quarter, but I tried for it. I tried for it. You saw all that. Right. Um, as long as you don't spawn too many spiders, you're not that big of an issue. But yeah, what do you guys think of, um, of Tainted Azazel? I think, like, Tainted Azazel is one of those one of those ones where the, they took a, a, a character, like, and didn't, they didn't really... Ooh, this is good. Ooh, this is good. Okay, I think we... We bomb this. See how much we get. Okay, we didn't, we didn't get the 30 cent we wanted. Chaos could give us some stuff, though. It gave us the golden fish tail, which is pretty awesome. And I think we just buy the soul heart, right? We and Like, there's no way we're getting another bomb here, so let's just grab that. Yeah, honestly, Chaos on the first floor. It's just going to be one of those runs, I think. I, I, I very much like Chaos. Stranger Tractor is an item that I, I enjoy much more than most people. I realize in some builds it can be a bit of a horrible item. But now, when you start with it, I think it's much more, much more plausible to play around with. Because when you start with it, you can build your items around it. You can make sure you don't take ones that are really negative with it. Which is great. Good, good. And there you go. Look at that. We get Immaculate Heart. Immaculate Heart as our first boss room item. Now, now who's saying Chaos is bad? To be fair, most people do agree that Chaos is pretty good, but still. Uh, and we'll take this because it could be anything. Unfortunately, it's Boom. I actually don't think Boom is that bad for us here. And especially considering we just got Immaculate, um, immaculate Heart, I don't really think we can complain too much right now. I don't really think we have the right. It's kind of sad to see that we don't get like a a brimstone swirl when we uh, when we get a tier going around us, but that would probably be quite powerful. So I can also understand why that isn't a thing. We might be able to get that money at some point, so I'm cracking them open anyways. Okay, let's be a little careful here. Try and line these boys up for uh, some doubles or triples. Unfortunately, that didn't really work at all. Okay, stranger track to enemies are really close to us is a little problematic. We're firing at range, though. It doesn't seem that bad at all. And we'll, uh, of course, go for this. Okay, so 
Rain, Rain Man here is always a problem for me because um, he causes quite a bit of lag because he's got all them dripping effects going on. Still, it, by the way, that's another thing. If anyone plays modded and knows big mod causes other than um, some of the larger mod packs I'm using that I could maybe try tweaking or getting rid of, that'd be really nice because I would very much like to try and reduce our lag here. I know quite a lot of people that use mods and watch this series are actually using mods that I use anyways and informed by the mod pack that I use, so <laughs> might not be the best idea, but there you go. Glass Crown gives bonus stats uh, that will decrease if the character takes damage. Nice. Hey, that's pretty huge for us right now. I like it. Okay. I'm just happy about the speed more than anything. The fire is also real good right now. Of course, we only have three hits of this, so we, we can't really cherish this... Uh, we can't really cherish this stat upgrade as something that's going to be forever. We kind of... Basically, we want this to be a holding... Like a sort of a, a holdover until we get the upgrades to have these stats for real. That's essentially what we're looking at right now. Good. Very necessary to press that button there. Hey, and we got ourselves spa. Uh, what? Excuse me? I know what that I know what this does, but why was it in the wrong language? <laughs> so, um, just just for those of you, those of you that don't know, uh, this is a card that teleports us to a black market. Um, I will try and use this effectively once I have more HP, but currently I, I don't really think we're in a position to uh, to use it. I'm I'm a little confused as to why it's in the wrong language. I will say, I will say. Can we bomb to get these keys? By the way, we can bomb to get one of them at least. Do you know what? When having an empty heart container at the start of a new floor grants another one, the burn hearts don't count. Pretty good. I think we should take it. And then... Grab that as well. We don't have an empty heart container right now, but we could do in the future, so it's good to take. But yeah, once we have more hearts going on, which hopefully uh, empty heart should help with. Wait, I did get one. I swear the description for that's wrong. Because it said that I need an empty heart container to get another one at the start of a new floor. I swear it did. Maybe I read it wrong? I don't know. I'm confused. Ooh, one thing I didn't think about is Strange Attractor plus Immaculate Heart. Could be kind of dangerous with the uh, the hearts, the, the, the tears that swell around us. Why did you see that? I perfectly pulled all four of those uh, leeches into all four of those spikes. That was kind of beautiful. Maybe it's if you don't have any empty heart containers. Maybe that's how it works. That'd be the opposite to what I think. Okay, that was a really bad hit. And of course, we lost stats off of that too. So, very upset about that. We will hopefully not see too much more of that. Ooh, that could be good. Plus 24%. That's pretty high, and we're not currently producing any flies. I kind of like the fishtail, just for the fact that, like, that's a lot of fly generation. And, and, but also the chance for a planetarium. It's only 24% chance, which is decent, but maybe not enough to justify. Ah, for God's sake, I'm losing all my stats to these bitches. I hate these enemies with a passion. Oh my god, what did, I, what did I just say, game? I just said I hate these enemies with a passion. And you spawn more of them on me? It's not fair. Okay, good. Taking out enemies in couples now, good. You see, okay, this... This is gonna get real heckin' wacky. Really heckin' wacky. If we manage to actually make this work with some, um... Okay, our crown is gone. God damn. Honestly, these heckin' little fly bullshit firefly bitches need to go in the trash. They are such horrible enemies. <laughs> They're not fun to fight in the, in the slightest. They need to go. Or else I'm saying that because I'm salty right now, but come on. Oh, 
Smart Fly is pretty good, but... Oh, you bastard of a game. You gave me guillotine. How could you, game? How could you? I hate guillotine. I'm going to buy this heart here. Actually, we should probably fight our boss first. I was going to buy that heart, but I'll wait. Just because I want to be on full health to try and get an extra heart container on the next floor. Like, guillotine ain't bad. I actually quite like guillotine stat upgrades, but god damn does it get me hit a lot. Ha What's going on with the leeches here? I'm, I'm very confused. I'm, I'm so confused right now. I mean, it's an active. Yeah, so let's go buy this heart over here. Just to make sure we get an extra heart on the next floor. Because I don't really know how it works, I'll be honest. Oh, God. Some upsetting stuff there. Some upsetting stuff. And then this... What? This time we didn't get a heart? I, 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 I genuinely don't understand how empty heart works. Encyclopedia. Inventory. I, I genuinely don't understand it. If Isaac has one red heart or less at the beginning of a floor, an empty heart container is added. Okay. Okay. That is not what the EID description said. Ooh, that was kind of close. Okay, so we need to be on one red heart container. Also, we need our stats back from the crown. <laughs> need to get those naturally now. At least we got this book. This book's actually pretty good for us here. Oh, wait. We can do this. Get over here. Cheaties. Also, Guillotine's going to make our uh, Stranger Tractor even more bullshit, I think. That's a book, at least. It is a book. Right. Back we go. Back we go. That scared me quite a bit. Uh, secret room feels like it very much could be here. There you go. Pills. I'll take some pills. Shot speed down doesn't matter. Puberty also doesn't matter. Right. So we've not really had another great item from Chaos yet, I, I wouldn't say. We've had some okay stuff, but nothing stellar like Immaculate Heart. So we're just going to hope for something good like that again, really. Which is why we want to be checking shops whenever we can. Guillotine doing orbital damage scared the hell out of me then. Okay. That's a lot of bombs. Do we want to be buying anything we see in the shop? Because it could be Sister Maggie. Hell yeah. No, that's obviously not what I wanted. Um, we really shouldn't have uh, bothered with it on Curse of the Blind, but oh well. It could, like, because it could be anything. It could, it could be a Devil Deal item. But it could also be, like, something really bad, like Guillotine. I keep calling Guillotine really bad. I refuse to say that it's really bad, even though I just did. But I refuse to think it's really bad. It's just, it's just not good. <laughs> it's kind of like Cursed Eye. It's just, the, de the the negatives often outweigh the positives, even though the positives of it can be pretty lucrative. There you go. What on earth is this? I'm just going to bomb this. I can't be asked playing these weird games. Judas is Fez. Okay, pretty decent, because that gave us a huge damage up multiplier. Um, but also kind of scary. We are now at one heart container as well, which is good for us. Ugh. Ugh. Probably should have used this at a later stage, I'll be honest. Fuck me. No! Okay, I managed to get the health back. Red stew. Pretty, pretty good. Oh, there's a fire there. God damn it. 4.5 volt. Also pretty good. Right, get gone. God damn, I'm playing like a, a flaming idiot right now. This run is spicy. This run's really spicy. Yeah, I don't know what to think of 4.5. Whoa. 
Um, we walked into a room and automatically popped a book off. Oh, fuck's sake, I hate these enemies with a passion. I don't know where to stand. The little red outlines that those things have are just kind of stupid. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why I popped a book. What's going on with this? Why do I keep popping books upon entering rooms? Is that Judas's fez? It must be. I'll go check that out in a sec, actually. Can't pick that up at the minute. Right, let me just go see what Judas's fez actually does, because I think it's something to do with that. Inventory, the fez. Sets Isaac's health to one. Uh, nice. Sets Isaac damage multiplier to Judas's. Activates book of Belial upon entering every third room. That's pretty good. I like that. So when we get a key, we can actually go and uh, take advantage of that soul heart there. That's a bunch of flies for us right there. Let's go get this other key as well, wherever that is. Ooh, we've also got this too, which I think is very much worth grabbing. Could have some cards in it for us. Emperor and Moon. Moon's decent enough, I guess. Kind of want to hold on to my Joker card right now, though, just to make sure. Right, so we can now do this. Grab that. Probably go back and check these rooms over here first. Trying to make the most out of Red Stew, really. Because Red Stew's kind of carrying us right now. Can I remember if flies just do your current damage or they do the damage of when they were created? Do they do two times damage, but do they do, they, do they do two times of the damage when they were made or two times damage of your current damage? I think it's current. I, I'm not, I, honestly, I'm not sure. Hello. Emperor. Might as well just do that now, to be honest. It had to be Skolex, didn't it? It's actually pretty good damage on Skolex there. Oh my god. Stranger Tractor's playing some weird games for me right now. That, uh, that all of that missed? Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Skolex, you red stew wasting little cunt. <laughs> Hot bombs. Oh, and I picked up a red heart as well by accident. That is foolish. Not great. What? 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 Oh, that was good. That room's always so tense, but I've gotten quite good at it now. Hey, nice little spicy damager. Seems to have accidentally gone to the boss, which is not what I was really intending to do. Lovely health is looking very good now. Stop, game. This is some brutal shit going on right now, and I don't like it. Oh, God damn, I got all the way back for my item room, which is going to waste all of my red stew. I should have just committed to the way I was going. I got cocky. Well, not cocky, but I got in my own head that I was going the right way, so I wanted to go back and go the wrong way to find the item room first, but instead I tripped myself up and ended up going f from the wrong way to the right way, therefore wasting all of my time. Oh, my God. <laughs> Both of them spawned another glitched heart. That's kind of funny. I kind of didn't think about the fact that that could happen. <laughs> oh, that's close. This is actually a pretty good one. Activates on hit effects when, when it gets hit. Which we don't really have any on hit effects right now i don't think but still can be good later on trying to see if we do actually no i don't think we do i'm really hoping we just get some decent fly generation pretty soon we don't have any right now and it would be very very nice sadly no blood donation machine either would have been nice for to get an extra empty heart 
the steps one, okay. Hey, we got a bloody rock there. That's good. Oh, they, it always gives you those two rewards every single damn time. Okay, this this is kind of cr you just dropped a spider on me and it did two damage to me. That's kind of bullshit. Also, having destroyed that rock was a bad decision. I'm so confused right now. Um, I am going to red rune that because it's not that good. Sir, you may be wondering, hey turtle, why'd you fucking do that, you moron? Let me explain. I'm a moron. I forgot the fucking red rune turned consumables into locusts. Fuck. Wasted my good card. That is the largest level of sad a man can achieve. Diggity damn. Yeah, we needed that. We were very low on keys for a while there. Oh my god, I'm feeling like a, a big dumb right now. Like a real big dumb. It's okay though, because this run's still it's still pretty good. And like we still we still got chaos that could still pay out with some interesting stuff. And we got a, a, a fly out of it all. Ow! We could reroll everything, maybe. We could reroll everything. I don't know how to. Let's see what we get from the rest of this floor. I could maybe, I could maybe see myself rerolling everything if this floor doesn't like improve us a lot, just to get rid of Guillotine. I know it'll get rid of Chaos, and I'm quite liking Chaos right now, but still, what on earth is this? Chain yourself to a random enemy with an astral chain and freeze them. The chain deals heavy contact damage to enemies going too far away from the chain. will Break the chain. Chain enemies have a 33% chance to drop a soul heart when killed. And Star of Bethlehem. Okay. I would say that that's some good stuff. I would say that's some relatively good shit. And Lil Haunt. Let's do it. Let's 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 go full re-release. See what we can get. I reckon our damage will go down, but everything else will be better. We got Cursed Eye. We also got the Wafer. Okay, I would say this is reasonably good. I would say this is reasonably good. We're going to grab that and see how this ends up functioning. It seems interesting, at least. We lost all the keys, I think, somehow. Did we? I don't know. Oh, that was a risky, risky, risky one there. Ah! Something saved my life there. I don't know what it was. Yeah, I think this runs a little bit worse just because our damage isn't as good. But we still got some good stuff in here. Okay, apparently we can't use the uh, the soul lock on this enemy for some reason. Okay. Maybe we just need to be a lot closer to soul lock with enemies. I don't know how to feel about this reroll. I feel like it was ill-founded. Potentially, at least. Okay, we're at least hitting our foot a good amount with the Brimstone Sneezes, which does more damage. There you go. We're doing pretty good damage to her right now. I, I, yeah, I don't know how to feel about this reroll. It's decent. It's not great. Is it better? We'll never know. Do we actually have a goal here? The lamb. Okay. 
You know what? Quasar is pretty heckin' good. But then again, it is an active, which does make me a little sad. I think we're gonna grab it and then bomb you. In order to double quasar these two and get ourselves a bunch of items. Which we seem to have done. We got Immaculate Heart back, I think. We got two relics. This is just strange. I don't even know what's going on right now. We got two relics for some reason. Anyways, down we go. Okay, this is weird. This is weird. We got a Holy Mantle in there, maybe? Yeah, we have Holy Mantle in there, I think. Whoopsie. I didn't mean to go in here, but do you know what? I'll accept it. Yeah, Quasar's pretty broken. Oh, hello, Crawl Space. Yeah, I think we'll, uh, we'll Quasar. Ugh! Bad Options is making things pretty pretty saucy for us right now, I think. Bad Options is adding in some extra zhuzh. Some extra zhuzh. Keep it going. We'll, uh, we'll get a reroll for that going on. Oh my god. I'm kind of just using all my... Uh, all my wisps here as just protectors for my body. <laughs> Not even considering that they're items. Just using them to make sure I don't take damage. Right, let's go back. Back to the scene of the crime. By the way, um, I'm, I'm reckoning it will be fixed by now, but if not, I'm going to go to the uh, Discord and just let the Ipecac developers know that this is still a bug and it. I think it kind of needs hot fixing like straight away because. Oh, I used the wrong thing. So used to pressing Q when I have like a base and stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's kind of one of those things that's like, meh. Ooh. Did we get almond milk in here, I think? It looks like we did. Almond milk and mysterious liquid look like two of the items we got here. Um, wait, is it almond milk? Because our damage is still pretty high for almond milk. Maybe we got marked? I don't think it's marked. It is almond milk. I can see it there. But that's, pr that's pretty high damage for almond milk, I've got to say. Like, considering it's a continuous beam, normally you go down to, like, 1 or 2 damage, and then we're at 3.7, 7.9, It's not great. You can see that we're not dealing insane damage, but it's better than I would have expected from Almond Milk. Considering... Oh, my God. Beautiful. Straight up damage up is better than um, anything else we could have got there, I think. God damn, this, this run's taking me for a loop, you, you know. I'm, I'm, my commentary's all over the place. I do apologize. I'm like, kind of lost right now. <laughs> I am kind of lost. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, I don't really. I, did, I, I know I didn't use the teleporter there. I didn't really want to because um, I think our secret rooms containing potential items could be a good avenue for us. E, little, little, little soul heart there, baby. Maybe a little bit of a soul heart there, baby. I did. I think I just walked on spikes. Whoops. And another soul heart. Nice. Okay, drop a steam sail so we can destroy it and get items. Yes. Hell yes. Boom. More items for me. We got a huge speed upgrade and I didn't see anything else happen. You never know what items you get, though. There's no real way of knowing, especially when you get that many at once. There's no real way of knowing what's just happened. Things have changed is all I can say. Things have changed. This summer, an Isaac run goes astray when Turtle Melon gets abyss. That sounds like the worst film of all time. Hello. That's a lot of keys, baby. I shall take a lot of keys in strides. I am liking the almond milk stuff though. I think almond milk's a pretty fun item with Rimstone. Some people hate it. I think it's a bit quirky, but I, I do kind of love it. Good, good. Is that a crash? Because I still hear audio. 
But this feels like a crash. I must have replayed the whole floor if it's a crash. Heck! God damn it. Be right back, people. Be right back. Be right back. Guess what? We is back. We is back. And we are continuing this run, which we will have to play through this floor again. Which is a bit of a shame. Um, I... I don't know what I don't know what we can do differently really. I suppose we could not thingy uh, not Quasar Steam Sale, but that sounds boring. I want a Quasar Steam Sale. I guess I'll refrain for now. It could cause some un undue issues that we don't know about. Let's just carry on. Oh, I forgot about that soul heart in that last room. One memento pop before. Hey, double soul heart. Right the hole then. What was I talking about prior? I think I was just making random nonsense memes about my <laughs> YouTube channel being a film. Imagine that. To be fair, that's one thing I always like kind of find interesting when like you do a you do like a long video. Like me and Never Named, whenever we record, our, our runs normally usually go over an hour. And like one of the most recent Gungeon episodes we did was an hour and twenty six. It's like, dude, that's a feature length film. Of me playing Gungeon. And some people out there are watching are watching the whole last thing. Like, goddamn, if you're if you're still here watching this part of the video, let me know, because I'd be interested. Cause I, I know that not everyone watches all of every video, because that's just honestly kind of absurd to expect because they're, they're long videos and people don't always have the most time in the world. Some people will watch them in parts, some people just watch like the most interesting parts and like skip through. It's completely fine with me. People can watch my content however they However they uh, please, but it'd be kind of interesting to know how many people just kind of watch the whole thing. Because I know a lot of you will probably hear this and be like half asleep or doing chores or not watching but just listening. So I, I obviously don't expect everyone to comment. I know that some people are very much lurkers on YouTube. I mean, I am myself. I very rarely uh, leave comments on videos that I watch. Um, so it's not a, not a problem people do it. But it's still be kind of interesting for those of you that do like watch or comment regularly to see how many of you have made it this far in. <laughs> Because, yeah, it's kind of crazy to think how many people watch so far into a run. I realize this one isn't crazy length compared to some of the others here. Uh, we'll go for both of these. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Should we do Hushy Hushy Hushy? I, I, I'm not going to just because I think Hushy 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 could take genuine years to finish just because I have low damage right now. If I had a little bit higher, if I was on like 4.5 damage, I'd consider it. Secret room. Oh, we got Explorer's Instinct going? Okay. I'll take it. And we can speed speed our way up to the uh, the boss here, actually. Ow! I forgot that guy exploded. Always remember, if the enemy's black, it explodes. My goodness. Yeah, um, in terms of just, like, YouTube in general, just, just just some random shit to talk about. Um, Got some kind of interesting things in the works. I think anyone that watches BD1P will have probably heard him talk about this, that me and him are, uh, are planning to start, like, an indie game podcast where we just kind of talk about indie games in general and not so much review them, but just kind of talk about what's going on in the industry as well as try and kind of hook up with a few of the developers and then maybe a few of the YouTubers um, and kind of just talk generally about what the hell is going on right now. We lost a lot of our wisps right then. Um, and just kind of talk generally about um, the the in, the industry and like what's going on in gaming. Uh, and I'm quite, quite excited for that. I do realize, by the way, that, that for some people out there and uh, and whatnot, BD1P is slightly controversial right now just because of the whole like Sin Victor shenanigans. For those of you that don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to tell you. If you want to go look it up, you can. I really don't give a crap about the drama. But I, I'm not really. I don't really care if someone's involved in drama. It's not my doing. And as long as they don't some don't do something that's completely against my morals, I'm not going to stop being friends with them because of that. Like he, he can do his own thing on his own time, and it not affect me. So I don't. I doubt anyone out there is even bothered to be honest. Uh, but yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to doing a podcast with him because we're pretty good mates. Uh, over the past, like, three or four months, we've become decent mates. We've uh, jumped in calls a few times. Obviously, we recorded a little bit together. And we kind of hatched this idea together um, out of an idea that I had originally. He kind of um, 
sort of brought some extra ideas to the table and made it into something a little bit bigger, which I'm appreciative of, and I'm kind of excited to get it going, so I'm, I'm hoping we can get that started soon. I think we're hoping to have, like, a first episode of it out by the end of the month. We're probably going to do it on a brand new YouTube channel as well, Have it give it its own YouTube channel, uh, which I think could be kind of fun to do. Is that a Dominic there on the first room? Are you, are you heckin' kidding me? Dude, 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 stop stealing the shit that needs to be sucked up, you absolute cretin. You see that? You see that absolute player right there? Um... I guess I'll take Broken Shell. We got double damage for now, so we can try and not get hit and keep that. Oh, it's Sig Monstra! What a little beast. I love Sig Monstra. Sig Monstra too, actually. Nice. Yeah, double damage is pretty popping, but we've got to be very careful to try and actually keep it. Can you stop spawning just a billion troll bombs, please? It's very annoying. Even at 22 damage, we're really not killing these guys very quick at all, are we? We do have some Giga Bombs on us, which will be uh, fun to utilize on the boss himself. Calm down, you little cretin. Where are you? You don't, do not telefrag me. Yeah, good. I'm always so worried of that. Okay, there's one of these Duke of Flies that's not Duke of Flies. Is it Duke of Flies? That's really weak. This isn't Duke of Flies, is it? What the hell boss is this? I can't remember what, the bo what that boss's name is, I'll be honest. I, I really can't. Oh, that was kind of close. These these ghosts are kind of weird. They can, like, fire at angles. It's bizarre. But, yeah, i got to say, like, I don't want to sort of speak to the controversy at all. I don't really want to get involved in it. I'm not part of it. I don't really care. But I'm, I'm still going to make content with the guy. We're still going to carry on with our plans no matter no matter the, uh, the other stuff that's going on with his channel. He can do what he pleases. Like I said, as long as it isn't completely against, like, my morals, I don't care. Like... As long as I don't find out, like this, this goes for anyone, not really one people. As long as I don't find, as long as I don't find out they're like a pedo or like a racist or a transphobic or anything like that, then I really don't care. And I know that he's none of those things, <laughs> obviously. But yeah, I know that he's none of those things, so I don't really give a damn. Oh my god, what is going on with these corny fellas? For a minute there, I forgot I had dirty mind, and I just saw them all coming towards me and was like, no, my double damage. How could you? Oh, the mini bump killed him real quick then. Oh my god, I'm getting so close to losing my uh, my double damage <laughs> over and over and over again. It's very scary. We almost closed this run out though. I don't actually know where the boss is. I feel like we're going the wrong way here, but I'm going to continue on. Ooh, that is scary. That's a lot of brimstones, boy. I love this as a trinket. Double damage till you get hit. It's basically like a a damage version of perfection. And of course we lost it straight away. God damn it. Right before the boss as well. Oh, to some creep nonetheless. Kind of because I'm playing as Azazel and just forgot that Tainted Azazel doesn't have flight. I always forget that. It's always at the most crucial moment that I forget it too. We do have uh, Giga Bombs here, which I think are going to be very good for dealing some good damage to this guy. In fact, my god, they're very good. Holy hell. There you go. Just killed him all with Giga Bombs. No, thank you. Right, there you go. End off that run. Feeling pretty good about that one. I hope you guys did enjoy. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.